Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Rose Smith from AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com. Thanks for joining me today for the June Pick a Card uh, monthly tarot reading. And it's really very simple. Just pick a number now between 1 and 5 and I'll do a psychic tarot interpretation for you. Okay, I've got my number. Have you got yours? Uh, you can have more than one number if you can't decide. Uh, if you have five numbers, that will be very interesting indeed. Okay, so if you are new, subscribe and be alive. Let's go to the board and see what these cards have to say for June. Alrighty, so the first card, if you've picked number one. Number one, closing my eyes now, what do I see? I'm in the sky. Uh, there are some challenges here. There's some really high mountains and they're sort of on either side of me. But there is a way through this. In the sky means it's in your thinking. So your thinking could be problematic. In fact, you might be making a mountain out of a molehill. It's really not that important. But perhaps your thoughts are blowing it up into something bigger than what it is. Uh, so... We've got two things happening here. There's a lack of clarity because there are a lot of clouds around. So there could be a bit of confusion. And uh, also your thoughts could be running 10 to the dozen. Right, okay. So the Six of Pentacles comes up. Maybe perhaps it's about organising your finances. Uh, and this is typically someone uh, who is very organised with money. And you can see there that she's handing money out to various people. So it's about a budget, maintaining a budget and weighing up who gets paid and how much they get paid. Uh, but it is a favourable uh, a favorable card. It can also indicate charitable donations or perhaps some generosity. Okay, so that's card number one. Card number one. Now, card number two, closing my eyes. What do I see? If you do have some financial issues, call on the energy of this card if you've picked card number one uh, to help you sort out what you need to do, by the way. Alrighty, card number two. Card number two. I see somebody with a gun, but it's a, a hand gun. And it's very weird because it's got where the barrel is uh, I don't know gun architecture I'm not a gun person we, we don't have hardly any guns in Australia it's not a thing here uh, and um, down underneath the barrel there's this sort of round thing going around and round like mice on a treadmill or something like this I just think it means target target practice shooting for a target going for a target but perhaps you go too far or you try too hard uh, or you overdo it regarding this ambition this personal ambition that you have let's see what card comes up uh, so we can get some more clarification on that okay so it's the ten of cups okay this is a very favorable uh, energy uh, and perhaps this is really what you need uh, more of and that is nurturance okay Perhaps your ambitions or your goals are so great that you could be losing sight of the important things in life like your home and family. For example, uh, you'll see here there's a little child's rocking horse down the bottom here uh, and uh, you could even be neglecting your own inner child while you race after your personal ambitions. Look, personal ambitions are fine, I'm all for them, in balance with everything else. And this nurturing, loving kindness is super important in everybody's life. Uh, if you don't have a mother, because not everybody does, uh, or you're not on good terms with your mother, perhaps you can find this energy in yourself, because we all have it deep down somewhere inside of us. Uh, and it brings a lot of contentment and emotional richness and um, when we get in touch with that, then we're in a better position to take care of other people and to take care of our own family or our pets as well. But this is about generosity and nurturance. Everybody needs it. Okay, that's number two. Now, let's have a look at number three. Card number three. Card number three. And we'll see what comes out. Let's go with that one there. Closing my eyes. What do I see? A door opening up in front of me. 
It's one of those, oh, I just can't remember what they are, uh, what they're called. In the old days, the 50s and the 60s I'm talking about, you go into a big department store and have one of these rotating doors, but, but it had a special term and I just can't think what it's called now. Uh, because we don't see them anymore. At least I haven't seen them for decades. Uh, and so it's sort of like going in a bit of a roundabout. And when I was a kid, you know, we go into these rotating doors and we go around and around in circles and we thought it was great fun. Uh, <laughs> the things that amused us in those days. Uh, and um, so do be careful that you don't go around in circles about something. There's an opportunity here. Uh, and uh, could involve money, perhaps. I'm not sure on that point, but that's a possibility. Now what I'm seeing is an, a very old record player from mm, early in the, uh, the 20th century, early in the, so it was in the 1900s, uh, and uh, the early part of the century. It had this big sort of speaker uh, phone. I can't remember what that's called either. Um, but it's... You know the sort of thing if you're hard of hearing so maybe there's some messages that you can't quite grasp but do pay attention because the more you focus on it the stronger they'll get and you will pick them up okay so it's the hangman this is about waiting for something and it's it does fit uh, with that little vision because uh, you're going around in circles perhaps waiting but not really getting anywhere going around in circles on the same spot uh, in the rotating door or um, this is sort of like in numerology where one cycle is finished and a new cycle is about to start but you're in between so you're in this sort of limbo area where you have to wait but that's okay uh, it, it, it's similar to the zero in numerology nine is the completion of the cycle and one is the beginning it's the ten so one and zero is it's like waiting for the new cycle to begin. So uh, it will happen. It won't happen overnight, but it will happen. Uh, so just be patient and bide your time. There's no way to force things to happen. It will happen at its own rate. If you plant some seeds in the ground, they will grow when they're ready. Yes, you provide water and some sunlight would be good too. Uh, but basically, yeah, they happen and they grow when they're ready. Okay, and let's go on to card four now. And see what card four has to say. Uh, okay, we'll go with that one. Closing my eyes now. Oh, I've got a lot of stone around me, like I'm in an old castle or something like that. There's stone blocks, these square blocks. Okay, it's like in the 1600s perhaps. Uh, I'm in this uh castle but it's a bit cold and it's a bit dank you know uh, it's very hard to heat castles I believe I don't actually have one but <laughs> that's what I think uh, and so yeah a little bit damp do be careful of the damp dampness or if you've got some sort of plumbing or water leak in your home uh, it could be an issue too all right so the card that comes up is uh, the two of pentacles uh, this does involve your money. Um, there is changes around your finances, but it's manageable and uh, it can work out okay. Green is always growth. And so there's the possibility of um, growing your money in some way uh, through these changes. And so it's not a time to be concerned, but it is a time to spend uh, more time and pay more attention to your finances. I'm always optimistic, so I, I I think it means there's a possibility you can grow your finances in some way. All right, let's look at card number five. Card number five now, and we'll see what we come up with. Okay, I'll go with that one. Closing my eyes. What do I see? Uh, I'm seeing some plants growing up the side here of my vision uh, like a, a vine or something like that um, growing and uh, so it could be oh right have you been thinking about growing your own food have you been thinking about planting things okay because I get this long vine growing and uh, not necessarily this is this is symbolic what I'm seeing but it means that there's a fertility there or the opportunity for growth. Uh, 
I don't really think it's strong for pregnancy, but it is, if you want to be pregnant, it is certainly a help. Uh, but yeah, it's not specifically about pregnancy, but fertility uh, generally. Also creativity. Uh, it's good if you're an artist or perhaps a musician or somebody who has to be creative on a regular basis. This can help you as well. Okay, so the card that comes up is the King of Pentacles. Here we have a lot of grapes, okay? So that's a vine and uh, that's all about the reward. Uh, there's a pile of money down here. Uh, the rewards of your harvest, of your hard work. And the King of Pentacles is a masculine energy and it's all about mastership. And, um, you know, he's worked hard and he's really understood what is required in order to, you know, be successful uh, in his, in his, uh, in his labours. Yes, so... It means that you can master your money, that you really understand manifestation and that you can bring money, attract, magnetize money to you uh, whenever you basically feel like it, you know. So, um, yeah, very uh, favorable for your money. Okay, so that's it. That's the five cards for June. And uh, We've got a little bit of a vibe on money there with three pentacles cards, some emotion and a few delays for some people. Uh, but yeah, a positive month overall. There is a lot happening uh, from now on with um, the lunar eclipse supermoon tomorrow. And uh, then we've got Mercury going retrograde. And then we've got a solar eclipse on the 10th of June as well. So, you know, it is a pretty full-on time. I'll just close my eyes now and see if there's anything else. Oh, I seem to be stuck for some reason. Don't know why. We'll go back to the board. All right, so I'll just close my eyes now and see if there's anything else I need to tell you. Okay, I see some letters being opened. Okay, so this is snail mail, the old-fashioned kind of mail. Uh, it just means news is coming and... Uh, I'm just waiting to see what the news is about. Oh, okay, so I see a door closing. So that's the door to the past. Something's finished. The end of something. That's okay. It, and it's not a great shock or anything because you already knew about it. Uh, and uh, this um, snail mail that I'm seeing, it's not your typical sort of bills and things. Yeah, sure, you'll get those. But it's something else. Uh, some news from the past that is finishing up. Okay. And then I'm in a golden sort of environment and there's a cabinet here on the left and the doors are opening to the cabinet and all this sort of golden energy is flying out of the cabinet. And uh, perhaps as one thing closes, these new doors open up as the past passes away. Uh, these new doors open up and all this golden sort of, I call it rainbow energy, but the predominant color is gold even though there's a few other colors in there and it's just coming out all over the place very pretty uh very blingy you know uh, a lot of bling here that i can see almost like diamonds now i see silver coins so this does mean transformation of a feminine kind so around your feelings around your receptivity being receptive to spirit opening up more silver coins i'm actually seeing australian 50 cent pieces uh, the ones that are the, uh, not the round ones, they're the, I don't know how many sides they have, 12-sided coin or something like that. I've never sat and counted how many sides on a 50-cent piece, but I think it's 12 or something like that. Please let me know in the comments. Uh, and, um, yeah, so some of these coins are now valuable. In the old days, in the 60s, I think they came out, they were made of silver, 60% uh, silver or something like that and they were round those ones uh, and they're valuable now uh, but this does indicate I would say moderate change or significant change uh, in a number of areas in your life okay there's a woman here and she's flexing her muscles and uh, that's strength around femininity also there might be something to do with your hair perhaps your hair is growing better than usual or you're going to get a new hairstyle or decide you're going to cut it or do something with it. There's some change around your hair. 
Okay, so that's it, everybody. Uh, I hope that all makes sense uh, to you. Uh, please consider giving this a like and sharing on your socials. I'd really appreciate that as I'm growing my small channel. And uh, we're getting there slowly. Uh, so if you are new, consider please subscribing and hit that notification bell as well as you will be notified as to when I do a new video, which I'm cutting back on the amount of videos I'm doing at the moment. Uh, but um, yeah, there'll still be, you know, a lot every month. There'll probably be, you know, 20 videos a month or something like that. Okay, have a wonderful uh, month, everyone, and I shall see you all again soon. Bye for now. Thanks so much for watching. Please visit my website, AbsoluteSoulSecrets.com for all things spiritual. Have a lovely day.